this whole look at my it's my Ray Ray Pelly, y'all. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen of what it's supposed to look like. This is what mine look like. It's only a mirror. Everything just fell out. My whole the um eyeshadow palette part just fell out. This this was the only part that was still in there. Now it just fell out. But I had fun on the team. I'm not gonna lie and say I didn't have no fun because I had fun. And it was cool while I was there. I wasn't that cool with everybody. I mean, I didn't have no beef with nobody, but I wasn't cool with them. Like, I say how the only one girl from the dancing in the hallway. And now she the only one I follow on Instagram, too. Because <laughs> she, well, she was the regular one on there, too. The other ones would be talking about each other behind it. Then I got in trouble for skipping school, so my uncle took me out, took me off the, um, the dancing period. So it was just... So, like I said, it was a competition that every school did with their dance team. And we we went there the compete the competition day and we competed. We did well we did our our routine and we would have to come back. It was a Saturday for the event where you know you can bring your parents so everybody can watch every school's routine and then they give out who's the runner, who's first, second, third place. So he took me out that week of school was like, yeah, you do not want to dance anymore. But, and we won, so I was mad about that. I was like, damn, we won, and he took me out. Like, that's fucked up, y'all. But then I wasn't even feeling like we. I didn't feel like I was part of it either. Because, I don't know. I was just distant from them. But it was fun. I was happy that the team won. Because the choreography was really good. But, like, she was cool. Like, I don't got nothing against her. She was, the, t the coach was cool. But it's like... I see why she was mad a lot to her, but it's like, you're not somebody I hold. Like, you're not somebody I hold, like, up there in my life where, I, oh, I, I gotta tell you the truth. The drama after the dance team. So, you know, after I got put off, that's when Corona started happening, too. So, I didn't really care, because I was, and my uncle, so he had to leave. He, he went on vacation. I was staying with my best friend at the time doing, doing quarantine. So, it was the girl who laughed at me, um, birthday, March something. I don't even remember her birthday, but it was March something. So, that day, or that night, the boy Ty, you know, we were still cool with him. At the, he, he and, him and the girl who wanted to join the dance team fell out, and him and the girl that laughed at me fell out. We were still cool with him. Like, we was hanging out with him still while we were still in school before Corona. And ain't nobody had no problem. Ain't nobody had nothing to say about nothing. As soon as we do it outside of school, all of a sudden it's a problem. He texted me and was like, y'all trying to sneak out tonight? He was like, oh, we never did that before. He was like, sure, of course, why not? Oh, and we filmed a TikTok. That's when TikTok really started blowing up during, you know, Corona. And there was that one sound. Baby, come do something new. Something new. Something new. We all did that line dance to that song. And they and the girl who birthday was who laughed at me saw it and was like, basically, I guess she was hurt because that was her, because that was the same day as her birthday sleepover at her birthday. I think I don't even remember if it was her birthday, but I feel like it was her. I know it was her sleepover. Mind you, we posted her on our stories and was like, happy birthday, told her happy birthday. And we us sneaking out with him wasn't planned. They felt like we was doing some spiteful stuff on purpose. Like, first of all, if y'all feel like we being fake, if you, like, me, you personally, if you feel like we being fake, why didn't you come to us if you got a problem with what we doing? Why are you letting them talk for you? Like, you always do. That's why I always had a problem with her. Like, you always let people talk for you. And, like, you can't speak for yourself. Like, you gotta hide behind somebody. Like, that's weak. Come on, now. We we both the same age. <laughs> that's weak. You, she, she avoids all confrontation. But you're the one who got the problem. We chilling. You the one with a problem. How are you gonna avo avoid the confrontation? Because we wasn't worried about that. We like, oh, y'all having fun at the hotel? That's good. We wanted y'all to have fun. We couldn't go because it's corona just started. And my best friend mother told her she couldn't go. So if she's telling her she couldn't go and I'm living underneath her roof at the moment, of course it's going to apply to me. I'm not ready to just go. That's weird. <laughs> That's disrespectful. And I know they met, like, they, 
You can, I don't know, you can just tell when somebody makes a group chat without you in it. I don't know. You can just tell, like, when somebody, like, when they make a, when one of your friends decide to make a group chat and not put you, not add you. Because I could tell. You're like, we both could tell, me and my best friend. Oh, they must have made a group chat about something. Because they say nothing. The group chat was quiet. No, oh, look what we doing. Look what we did. Blah, blah, blah. It was fun. Y'all should have been here. None of that. None of that. So my best friend talks to group chat because she knew it was a problem. She was like, oh, um, is anything, you know, I don't know. I don't remember what she said. But she said something. And then here come one of the other girls. One of the other girls we was cool with. She wasn't on the dance team, but she was closer with the girl who was laughing at me. She was basically her protector because she will always try to take her, take up for her, you know, anytime. Which, okay, I got to do that to you for your friend, but damn, she can't speak for herself. One time, they all like, oh, she was drunk at her party. She was crying. Y'all made her cry, blah, blah, blah. Y'all was hanging out with him. On her birthday, like that's petty, blah blah blah. And we was trying to explain ourselves, like, oh, we didn't do it spitefully. It came up out the blue. Even if it wasn't your birthday, we still would have hung out with him. It just happened to be your birthday. Which I can see how you know it looks like that. But that's the that would be the only time we would give them a reason to think we're fake. Like any other time in school or in outer school. Like, I used to pay for the girl meals. I used to get a girl money. If she asked me for, like, $20, I'd be like, yeah, I got $20 for you. Or if I was fake, I would have been like, um, remember when I did this for you? Remember when I did that? Remember when I paid for this? I'm not one of them type of people because I hate people like that. Where is all this coming from? Like, y'all really mad about that? It's more stuff to worry about. Then us hanging out with him. Then the girl got to say, oh, I didn't think y'all was really that cool with him. I thought y'all was just using him for weed. Okay. Pause. He, that, that was like my third or fourth time smoking, period. So how would I be using him for weed? And the fact that you think we, we would use somebody for something like that, like, that shows that you're a user. Because that's the only type of person that would think like that. She's using them. Like, you're, you're a user. Like, the girl that said it, like, she's a user. She was never trying to get a job because she knew one of us will pay for her. We owe them stuff. Um, no, we don't owe y'all nothing. Y'all the ones that joined our life. Because y'all didn't have no friends. Okay? We was cool chilling at our table before y'all came. And yeah, we had fun with y'all at times, but... I'm just saying, y'all don't add nothing to our life. If anything, y'all took stuff away. <laughs> if you press, if you cry about your, if you crying at your birthday party and you drunk, why didn't you say nothing the next day? Like, why did we have to bring it up for y'all to start talking? We ain't never give y'all no reason to think, oh, she fake before. So where is all this coming from? Cause ain't nobody fake but y'all. Cause how, cause how are y'all gonna be like, oh? He, he did this to us, blah, blah, blah. But when he went to college, and the third girl, who I'm not even mentioning because she's not really relevant in the story, she was trying to be cool with him. Oh, but remember what he did that your friend? Oh, but now you're trying to be cool at college? Oh, that's fake. Then the other girl, so he, like I told you, he he was he sells shirts and he sells clothes. She going to hit him up on Instagram at his first event talking about, Oh, I just want to congratulate. I don't know. She said something like that. Positive. Um, girl, if you really mad about what he did, then you would have never did that. You wouldn't even still be following him. Because she really tried to make it seem like me and my best friend was the villains. Like, no, girl. Do the other girl know you messaging him? Hmm? Remember what? Remember that? No. We all met up and tried to settle our differences. But after that, it just felt different. Cause you could tell, um, y'all y'all started a new group chat without us, boom. And I don't know the way y'all the way they handled it, it was like nah. We was trying to be mature, and, and my, ain't nobody wasn't nobody being disrespectful. It was crazy because my best friend she never argue with nobody. She don't she don't do none of that. She not with the drama. 
she was in that she was in that group chat typing i wasn't saying nothing because i was just trying to see what the outcome was like i wanted to see oh which y'all was y'all gonna try to fight us or what because i would have been as big and we wasn't on no aggressive type oh well if it's a problem then we could solve it type stuff <laughs> we was just oh sorry we didn't meet like we wasn't doing it in a spiteful way we see how, you know, it looks, but we wasn't doing it like that. Like, we were still cool with him. Like, the girl that brought him to the table, she said it was okay. We were still cool with him. Then she gonna try a lot and say she never told my best friend it was okay. She was still cool with him. First of all, we don't need you. We don't need your permission because who are you? And second of all, you definitely did because when y'all went to the massage school for my best friend together, you said you didn't care no more because... That don't got nothing to do with you. I mean, y'all can be mad all y'all want. And y'all was y'all was too scared to even voice y'all opinions. Like, bye. I'm not really listening at all. <laughs> yeah, we, and we still cool. So now what about it? Because I knew it wasn't going to be no problem. How is your birthday? And they claim you the one that's crying. You ain't say nothing. You know, like, guys, I want us to be friends. We can't stay friends if you're not going to communicate, girl. If we did something that hurt your feelings, you gotta tell us. Like, when she, like when she um laughed in my face, I told her I was like that wasn't funny. I didn't like that. Cause if that was you, you would have been mad. Just never was the same, and we just not cool no more. I was mad. We were still cool with him. Like, why are y'all trying to be some friend gatekeepers? Like, <laughs> we can be cool with whoever we want to be cool with. I don't know what happened with his old friend group in our school because, like I said, he used to sit at the table behind us. I st I feel like he told us, but I just don't remember what happened. But I know they fell out for some reason because I remember the whole table was trying to argue with him. Like, that whole back table was trying to argue with him over because he said it was fake. <laughs> guy came over, this popular guy in our school, he came over to our table was like, I don't know. He was basically instigating. I don't remember what he said because I don't remember. All I know was the table behind us was mad. Just started cussing him out and the girl jumped on our table. Like, girl, why are you jumping on our table? You see our plates right here? Like, you disrespectful. You see we was eating lunch. You gonna jump on our table? I didn't even know you could move that fast. But anyways, let's get back to that. So, he, the boy came over. He said something. Mind you, my friend Ty, he was running for prom king against another popular boy that the table behind us was, I'm pretty sure they was cool with him. They both was, they was kind of beefing, but it's not like they was fighting or anything. They was just like, who gonna win prom king? Like, cause a lot of people didn't like my friend, but a lot of people didn't like the other boy either. Like, I didn't really like the other boy either cause he did too much. But I'm like... Oh, and my job wasn't going to prom, so I was just going to see, like, at the school, you know, whenever it's over. Like, oh, who won? Mind you, neither one of them won. <laughs> y'all really beefing over prom king and neither one of y'all won? Are you serious? It was a boy, it was a class president who won. But she was an underdog. I didn't even know he was running. I did not know he was running. They probably wrote his name in. <laughs> they was like, neither one of y'all deserved to win. <laughs> so the boy came over, he said something. And then my friend Ty was like, and he wasn't that close at the time. Like he was, like he was still sitting at the table, and he was still cool with everybody there. And my friend Ty was like, it don't matter, cause everybody at that table is fake. Boom. And they was ready to jump the fuck out of him. They was ready to bank the shit off if he would have hit the girl that jumped on our table. So the girl, what? Who fake? Now everybody getting riled up. Everybody at the table ready to fight him. They want to bank a boy. Like, none of y'all beef with a girl, but y'all want to bank a boy that y'all know. Not ready to put, hand, put his hands on y'all. You know, I feel like he, he probably would have. I don't remember what she was saying. The whole table standing up, like, they waiting for they was waiting for him to hit her. Which, I'm, ha I'm happy he didn't, because I know I wasn't going to jump in and help him get in from getting banked. Because we wasn't that close. And I don't know what the situation was, like, and he knew I wasn't going to help him either, because we wasn't that close, because he asked, he was like, would you help him? And I was like, no. Nowadays, yeah, but back then, I don't know. He didn't hit her. He just told her, because she beefing with her on, jumping on the table, yelling. He straight said, 
get your, if you really got a problem, go get your brother. Which if you if anybody ever say that to you, <laughs> either you either gonna go get your brother or you gonna shut the fuck up. Told her go get your brother if you really got a problem. She ain't never go get her brother. Like last somebody told me go get my brother. I'm getting my brother. Nah, she was bluffing. She was doing all that for attention. Attention from who? I don't know. Because everybody already know who you are, girl. Like, what more attention do you need? But, okay. You know, some people don't get love at home. A lot of people don't. So they, got, so they try to get attention in other places and aspects in any kind of way. That's when everybody was telling the, the girl that wanted to be on the dance team with me. Well, that wanted to join the dance team in the first place was like, Oh, don't be cool with him, blah, 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 trying to get in her ear. She let him get in her ear. Now, even if they wanted to re become cool, I wouldn't, I'm wouldn't. i not down for it. I'm going to be posting way more frequently now. But I really do need to get a camera. In high school, you don't realize. Because you think, oh, this is the say all be all. But it's really not. Like Once you get out of high school, you realize like this shit really do not matter. Like, I, I hope the girl that jumped on our table be new to herself. Mind you, and she fake too, because he said he saw her after when we all graduated high school and she was like, hi, she was speaking to him. Girl, remember when you jumped on the table and was trying to get him to fight you? What happened? So, yeah, that was the drama with the dance team and my old friends.